So we've just been back in Arizona where we live, um, just kind of fell right back into off-season routine, I guess you would say, um, and just tried to, as far as baseball goes and throwing, just stay kind of in that idle, idle position. So uh, just a lot of long toss. Um, was still throwing a, lot of, uh, a couple of bullpens a week um, up in Peoria, so I was still you know, sticking around and, and putting that in the routine. But me and Zach Davies were able to get together every day and play catch. Um, he lives in the same, same neighborhood as me, so that was good. Um, and then, you know, just hitting the gym in the morning and, and uh, enjoying the afternoon with the family. So that's pretty much it. You know, it, I've had a lot of rest um, over the last couple of years. So um, I'm definitely ready to play. Um, as far as the Tommy John process, I think, um, you know, it only got better um, as spring training kind of went on. Um, I was recovering really well. I wasn't having any issues or anything like that. And I think... Uh, being able to just continue to throw and not really stress it over these last couple months, uh, you know, might have helped it. Um, I've talked to some guys that say, you know, that first year back, they kind of ride this roller coaster of, you know, feeling good for a little while and then maybe getting some tendonitis or something, you know, flaring up and then having to deal with it. So um, I'm getting close to the two year mark. That's kind of where they say everything kind of just takes off and, and you don't have to really worry about it anymore. So. Uh, maybe this is a blessing in disguise, but, um, you know, I, I feel great. Uh, I feel healthy. You know, that's that's something I haven't really felt in a, in a really long time, you know, as far as being completely healthy. So, um, you know, I match that with, with what I got going on mentally as far as wanting to compete, and I think it's going to be fun. You know, I've only really known the American League, so I've been thrown to the DH my whole career. So uh, I don't think it really changes for me, you know, as far as us for, as a group. I think there's something there's something different about you know when you finish your inning and you get to come in the dugout and not worry about when your spot's coming up in the lineup. You can just kind of space out and kind of focus on what you want to do next inning pitching wise. You know I think obviously the, it, there's another side of the ball that you have to worry about in the National League whenever there isn't a DH. So I think you know for some of these guys who haven't experienced that, I think that'll be different for them uh, to be able to kind of really have that moment in between innings where they can evaluate what they want to do next inning instead of worrying about getting a bunt down or, you know, I'm up fourth, I got to pay attention to make sure that I don't come up this inning or if I do, I got to be ready. So it's like, I don't know, I think some of these other guys are going to experience, you know, a little bit less stress as far as in-game stuff. I mean, it's frustrating, you know, you want to play um, and you get excited, you know, you, all the reward is starting to kind of come in at that point, you know, you're starting to get back on the field and play and starting to, you know, the game's starting to give you a little bit back, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, it was a bummer, definitely. But, uh, you know, I got two kids at home, and, and they keep me plenty busy, man. And uh, it, it's they keep your mind off stuff a lot. So I would just say, yeah, I just tried to, you know, handle my business in the morning and make sure that every day I got my baseball stuff taken care of. But then, you know, it's family time. So um, that's pretty much where I invested all of my mental <laughs> in the afternoon. So... You know, I feel as confident on the mound and and ready to go as I ever have. Maybe even more so. You know, I've, I'm getting I'm getting older now, and I've watched a lot of baseball, and and you know, I've learned from failures. You know, over the years too, and and I've had some time off to really think about things and and how I want to apply them when I get back. And so, um, I just think that I'm going to be a well a more well-rounded pitcher this time this time around, and and. Uh, you know, I think I think that the better years of my career are kind of ahead of me. You know, I've had some, a lot of time off with some unfortunate injuries, but um, I think my my mind, my baseball mind, has stayed um, you know growing over the years. So I'm excited to kind of put it all together now. You know, I'm having a blast already just doing these inter squad games. You know, uh, when the game's taken away from you for that long, you know you. You don't really go numb, but you just kind of like lose all the all the things that you're used to feeling, you know, while you're playing the game. And so when these things kind of become, you know, familiar and fresh again, I think uh, not only do you have a greater appreciation for just the fact to be able to, to play the game, um, but you also just you, you take it all in. You, you value it a lot more. And so, you know, I just I appreciate being able to come to the yard every day and being able to, you know, Give, give everything I can every day to get better. You know, I think that that's, that's the least we can do as players is, is give you everything we got. So, um, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm just happy to be back playing, and, and I'm, I'm really excited. You know, the, hopefully the frustration's over, and, and now it'll be all, you know, happiness going forward.